Creality Ender 3 and you're having a problem with the extruder fan and you need to replace it, then this video is for you. Stay tuned. Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, I'm gonna tell you guys how to replace a Creality Ender 3 extruder fan. The fan that's right in the front of your extruder. We're gonna replace that today. And that's an important piece. It keeps the extruder from creeping heat up to your plastic tube that holds your filament. Stop stuff from clogging. And the fan also makes sure that the temperature stays correct on your extruder. So unfortunately, my Ender 3 the fan was having problems. It sounded funny when I first got it and I probably should have had it replaced then. But it's out of warranty and I got a piece of filament stuck in it and I noticed it was vibrating and making crazy noises and I wish I had a video to show you but I panicked and started repairing it right away. And I bought some really cheap parts on Amazon and I will leave a link down in the description to below. It does not benefit me in any way so if you can find them cheaper or you can find one with a longer cord. Unfortunately, this one did not have a long enough cord that I could go straight to the board with. With, but it's still a good guide to show you what to do if you can't find fans that can go straight to the board or you need an aftermarket one. These are 24 volt fans and we're going to install this one and the way I'm going to be doing this in this video today is we're actually going to be snipping the wires and soldering them together. So I'm going to show you that. So let's get over to the workbench and I'll show you how that's going to go. Here we are on my work table. I'm going to put this at an angle that you guys can see it at. All right, we're going to grab the tool kit that came with the Ender 3. We're going to get this hex key that's second from the smallest. I'm going to go for these two screws right here. Once you get those screws out, it should come right off like so, and we should be able to see the fan right inside there. And you'll see there's more screws, and we're gonna use the same hex key to get those screws out as well. Now this was a little challenging to get it out because it's kind of clipped in there, so I took the hex key and pushed it out through the vents right there to give me some leeway to pull this out. Now keep in mind when we do put it back in and we finally get this out, we do have to make sure that we push it back in just as hard. And look at that fan. It's all messed up. That's what was making that awful, awful noise. I'm going to stretch out the wire a little bit, and I'm going to cut it as close to this fan as I can. Yeah, that thing looks awful. We're going to get some wire strippers here, and I'm going to strip the ends off these wires. Now, if you buy the kit that comes with a long enough wire that will go to the back of the machine and you can clip it in, you could run it all the way up through that line that's right there instead of doing what I'm doing. But unfortunately, I bought these fans and they had short wires on them. They have the connector, but they just had short wires on them. So I'm going to have to clip this wire. That's why you got to buy genuine Creality parts. But we're going to check right here if the fans are 24 volt and it looks like they're both 24 volt DC. Looks like we're doing pretty good here. Everything matches up. So other than the wire being short, everything fit just right. We're going to put make sure we push this down. Make sure the wire is coming out of the top of the extruder part. Remember, push down because it does need to be pretty tight in there and kind of, you'll almost hear a click. Now we're going to go ahead and screw those four screws right into that fan to hold it into place. All right, and that should, it should look like this coming out of the top. I'm going to place this in and just see where we're at. And I'm giving it a little extra room because I have a feeling that I'm going to be doing this repair again one day. And I'm splitting those wires and it's black and red. So black to black, red to red. We're going to strip these wires right here. I have some of these heat shrink tubes that I like to use on projects like this so that way I don't have to use any electrical tape. You could use electrical tape, but I like these tubes. You just slip it right over the wire and then heat them up later. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm dipping the wires into some flux paste, and this just makes it so the metal from the solder actually soaks into the wire. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tin the wires. And I'm going to do the same to 
to the other side now. I'm gonna tin these. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to splice these wires together and then add some solder to try to get these things to become one. And now I'll just put the heat shrink wrap right over the top of that. And I'm using a heat gun here to shrink wrap it. I have the heat gun at 100 degrees Celsius and I'm just going over and it's heating it around the wire. Now we're going ahead and soldering red to red, black to black. So right now we're doing the red one and then we'll just put that sleeve right over the metal parts. And then we're going to go over it with the heat gun again. All right, now I could try to tuck this up into the wire, but it didn't seem like it was bothering anything. And I'm just going to put the, I guess for lack of a better word, the cradle over there. And I just left these out because it ain't going to bother anything. So I like to screw in the top screw first. I'll put it in loosely like I'll be halfway and then I'll get started on the other screw and leave it loose so I can still adjust and move around and then I'll tighten that one all the way up and then I'll tighten the top one all the way up so yeah I know it's not the prettiest but it works so that's how you repair your Ender 3 fan. I know somebody's gonna comment down below and be like, that's not the correct way to do it, or, or da, da, whatever. I repaired this over two months ago. My Ender 3 is running mint, it works. Honestly, to me, it's a little bit easier than trying to trace that wire all the way back to the board and taking apart everything. Just cut a couple wires, solder them on, and boom, you're done. That's it for me, guys. If this video helped you in any way, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell if you want to get notified when I make a video. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys! You're still here? You haven't clicked on all these videos that I made? Or, better yet, like button? Or even better, subscribe button? Just... Putting it out there.